This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I have a special guest, Quantum Mineral, which brought some uh, purple amethyst crystal, and uh, both in this form, little small tumbled pieces, and also a nice beautiful chunk. So what we're gonna do is discharge through these items and see what happens. Okay. All right, here we go. And that's water and iron oxide. Discharging things. Look at all these purple amethyst little pieces that were tumbled. So I just killed the power and then the crystal on the top cracked as it cooled, just instantly cracked. It's really hot. Wow, it's pretty cool. question of can we fuse two purple amethysts together and what it appears to have done is actually bleached out the purple so they're no longer purple amethysts
<laughs> oh, those, those are both really clear. All right, and here's one purple amethyst. And we're going to uh, turn it clear. It didn't take long at all. Oh, it's no longer purple amethyst, is it? It totally turned that part all white. Awesome. All right, so this whole thing came up when we talked about the purple amethyst and the effects of sunlight, thinking what would happen if you ran electricity through it? Would the effects of sunlight speed up? Well, it turns out that your amethyst crystal will actually slowly lose its color if you expose it to sunlight for an extended period of time. Here's why this happens. The purple color of amethyst comes from iron atoms that are inside the crystal. When light goes through the crystal, these iron atoms absorb the yellow part of the light, allowing more of the purple to pass through the crystal and reach your eye. As long as moderate amounts of visible light come through the crystal, this is all that will happen. Unfortunately though, the iron atoms that do this are also fairly unstable. Their ability to absorb yellow and transmit purple light depends on keeping the arrangement of electrons in the atom of the crystal the way they are right now. When you shine a lot of sunlight on the crystal, the components of the sunlight that have more energy will move the electrons around and cause the iron atoms to lose this property. That means less and less iron atoms will be able to give you the nice purple color that you see now. You can keep your amethyst anywhere indoors and should not worry at all about the indoor lighting, but definitely keep it away from bright sunlight if you want the color to last for a long time. Even if you do take it in sunlight occasionally, this will happen very slowly. But if you do it too much, over a few years, you will notice the difference. And if you run 10,000 volts through your amethyst crystal, I guarantee it will turn clear. I wanted to give a special thanks to Quantum Mineral for providing these purple amethyst crystals and letting me experiment on your minerals. Uh, you'll find a link to the Quantum Mineral store below.